All right, what is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den. Uh, this is a road to recovery for my uh, bicep tear. So basically we're gonna train legs today and legs are something that I can train hard still uh, because I have both of them, which is fantastic. Uh, but a big trend right now on the interwebs is the knees over toes guy. So I uh, was listening to some of his stuff and I just interested with what he had to say. I don't know where the science is on you know his philosophy, uh, but I figured, hey, why not give it a shot? So. Uh, basically where he stands on things is just taking care of the knees and keeping your knees as healthy as possible especially as we get older right preventing us from being in wheelchairs uh, and he always talks about how we're always putting research into speed right running forward uh, you know and, and everything is always this forward uh, progression where why aren't we focusing on going backwards so uh, he likes when obviously the knee travels over the toes and one of his number one staples that if he could give anybody would just be walking or running or dragging things backwards so since it's leg day we're gonna start off by just doing some backwards sled drags uh, attached to the hip here obviously I'm not trying to put it in my hands because of my bicep so with the belt around my hips it's just gonna put this all in my legs so we're just gonna do a couple sets of this uh, and then get over to our next uh, kind of exercise warm up before we get into the classical squats Now one of the things he always is talking about is pain, right? Like if you're doing this that's causing pain, change it up or, or switch out the exercise somehow so it doesn't cause pain or just use uh, you know, a different variable to manage that pain. So you shouldn't be having pain in your knees when you're doing this. Uh, and the whole point of this is to prevent any knee pain uh, and just improve knee health and function you know, as we get older, as we're training. It's like a little, a little great back stretch there, guys. Now, he said something like he's gotten a hundred miles in of walking backwards. That's crazy. But I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? When you go for a vertical jump, right? Knees travel over the toes. Uh, when you're jumping forward, when you're squatting, big fan obviously of like acid grass squats, you know, full range of motion. Uh, so, you know, I don't really see too many things uh, negatively about his philosophy. And if it helps with, you know, my knees for uh, just also getting stronger in a further range of motion, I think that's good too, right? We don't want to be weaker uh, and, and not be strong through deeper ranges of motion. So by doing stuff like this and some of the other exercises you're gonna see, we're strengthening our muscles in deeper ranges of motion so when we get there, we're, we're feeling good and stable and strong. That's like a super small range of motion where we just come down, touch the heel around, okay. come up, and then gradually you would work your heel higher and higher. Uh, next exercise here is basically just a elevated heel, uh, I guess like a kind of like a, a depth squat or something. There's definitely a name for it. I don't know what off the top of my head, obviously, but we're just using a, a ramp. These are actually for a part deadlift frame, uh, but it serves the same purpose. You can buy different, you know, angles that are steeper online or wherever. And I think he sells his own type of uh, board that's like this. So my heel is elevated. Okay, all we're doing is we're just going to touch our heel to the ground. Okay, obviously my knee going over my big toe and then coming back down. So not uh, anything crazy here, but we're doing like 20 to 30 reps. So you can actually really feel that uh, working the knee and all the muscles around the knee. guys so what's interesting is um, I can actually feel I always say that I feel more pain on my right knee but when I was actually doing them it was very um, like pronounced pain um, when I was on my left knee it was fine so um, that was just very interesting that I definitely felt the pinpoint pain 
And then uh, for my knee history, so I, I tore my meniscus a few years ago and had that repaired. That was my left knee. Uh, but when I'm growing up, I suffer from Oscar slaughters and very, very, very painful. Uh, so knee issues are something you know that I'm constantly trying to work around. So in my mind, it's like, you know, if I find any benefit from doing these, awesome, I'll throw them in. And, and this is not taking us a lot of time either. It's just kind of priming us. Uh, and I think long-term health, right? Longevity, like keeping my knees, you know, in in uh, the best health as possible. So as I get older, I'm not in a wheelchair. I'm able to, you know, play with kids, grandkids, etc. cetera. Like I, that's always the vision I have. Uh, so, you know, if I can put in a couple minutes a day doing these things, you know, I, I think long-term it's gonna save me a lot of money and uh, create a lot of great memories in my life. All right, so this is a, uh, basically said like an elevated Bulgarian split squat. What I'm trying to do is put a lot of pressure into my big toe, obviously right knee over toe here, uh, and then kind of just like leaning into it for some sets and reps. So we're building that, that strength uh, in that range of motion and all working all those muscles around the knee. Now the lower we go, supposedly that it gets harder to do that because it's gonna be like a little bit more of your, your weight. Um, the other thing we want to do is make sure we keep upright. We don't want to be slouching over. So just keeping, you know, good upright posture, keeping my hips stacked, and then just driving forward like so. So heels elevated, weights in the ball of my toe. I'll come back, drive into it, then I'll switch sides. So. So push your way forward and come up on your big toe. Yeah, yeah. Like, like eventually, I should be able to basically squat you know into those like like these onto my toes right and come up rock down this is a little bit painful on my knees i can do it but i'm obviously not where i want to be right and that's just uh you know something i'm working towards i was watching uh kelly holtz putting out new videos and uh i actually like them yeah. He's going back to some of his older ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing like Strongman. And uh, he doesn't seem like. Uh, his other videos, he's kind of crazy. Yes. For sure. I don't know if Matt's is, but you guys were watching Elliot Hulse. He was like my idol back in the day. And uh, it's kind of cool to see, like, you know, where I started. He drew inspiration from him to where I am today. Um, but he kind of went through some very strange phases, you know, ups and downs, kind of falling off, coming back onto the internet. Uh, but lately, he's been getting back into strongman training, and uh, it's just been cool, cool to watch. Some of his other stuff's still out there. He's a little nuts, but uh, I've been liking the content he's been putting out. So it was cool to watch. All right, so we got SSB squats. I'm gonna do a little bit higher volume today. You know, it says like eight to ten reps. Um, this is a Titan SSB bar, and Titan is hit or miss, right? You get some stuff from them that absolutely sucks and it's garbage, and you're like, why the heck did I order that? Other things like this has lasted a long time, and it's relatively inexpensive. Uh, and uh, I was just saying to Matt and Tanya that I may buy the Kabuki Transformer bar just to have something different here. So I kind of have like a range of all different types of equipment in the gym, from Titan Fitness to, you know, Rogue Fitness, and other top of the line brands, uh, but yeah, so that's what we're doing. So the reason I'm doing the SSB, obviously for my bicep, uh, I was actually getting into low bar squatting right before this happened. So unfortunately I gotta cut those out because what really hurts is the extension of the elbow. So I, I often find myself kind of just having a slight bend in the elbow when I'm walking around. Hence why they put you in a sling, right? It's a good position. Obviously the weight kind of just pulling down naturally from gravity in my hand. That's where I'm getting pain. So if I were to try to do like a straight bar or like a, a low bar squat, it's gonna, definitely aggravate the bicep and uh, since days have gone on you know I can feel it getting a little bit more painful um, so with this SSB I can just hold it right here right I'm keeping just kind of nice and light on my hands so I'm not gonna be able to push probably as heavy uh, with the weight because I'm not you know straining as much but I'm still able to squat and just really focus on my muscle connection to the quads 
Uh, I was, like I said, thinking about getting that transformer bar because it has longer handles, which would, would be even better for uh, my position with the bicep. But that's why I'm using this and uh, just grateful to be able to train legs and, and push legs hard. Uh, unlike the other stuff, I have to work around it with upper body things, where this is like no, no real uh, setbacks can, can destroy some legs. Right, well, I think I have it bad. I look over at my man Zeke with no leg. He doesn't know any different. He adapts, right? The body adapts. We always go together now. Yeah, we go together. <laughs> They just say you're, you're, you resemble your dog or whatever. Yeah, right. <laughs> he loves the, I love the, he sleeps a lot, I like to sleep. That My bicep's true. torn, he's got no leg. Uh -huh. He's skeptical of strangers, I'm skeptical of strangers. <laughs> what else? It's just like, we're meant to be. All right guys, so now we're gonna do some hack squats. I absolutely love this machine in a sick twisted way because it'll destroy you. Uh, but same thing here, knees are traveling over toes, kind of follows in line with this video here. Uh, so we'll probably do three sets, a little bit higher, probably 12, 15 reps, get a good quad pump. Uh, and then we'll finish up with uh, some lying hamstring curls, three sets, uh, probably same thing, 12 to 15 reps. And that'll kind of conclude our leg day. Uh, for my leg training, I'm just training enough to get the stimulus to keep the muscle that I have. Uh, obviously, now I'm going to train legs probably three times a week as opposed to twice. Um, and even before this, I was only training it around one time per week because I was trying to focus on growing my upper body. Uh, so, you know, I'll play around with different variations and keeping the exercise selection a little bit lower on leg day. I'm training three days a week, so maybe like one main lift followed up by one or two accessory movements, and I'll manage that uh, by either adding something like a tempo, using dumbbell versus a barbell, uh, changing ranges of motion, so that I have, I'm in check with fatigue management, so I'm not overtraining my legs or putting myself in a bad position for anything to happen in my lower body. I'm gonna show Coach Tyner true potential while well, she's gonna do five total plates. She's never done it before. I've never sheared her in the wrong direction. I've never sheared her in the wrong direction. Yeah. But that's why you have training partners, right? To push you, show you what you're capable of. And I believe that she can do this for at least a set of eight. So, let's see what happens. She's making a big deal about it. She's getting her belt on. She's like all her. You're gonna do it. You're gonna get eight. I'm always smiling until you're, now. You're gonna get eight. <laughs> eight reps. Oh, come on. come on. This is what I deal with, guys. This is what I deal with. Try, no, that'll hurt you. You don't do that. That would be dumb. So tough, man. Yeah. I told you it's too heavy. How many have you done before? Three and a 25. I think she could do three three points. Right? You did three points? Four? Wait, what do you mean? I've done three and a 25. Oh, wow. That's what I said. Oh. I miscalculated by a lot. I thought, I thought you did four points. No. So she's only done three plays in 25. So we're gonna do four. We call that a, a potentiation <laughs> of the muscle. <laughs> Super max. 
Super, super loading, right? Yes. I think Brian Alzer did that one time where he like loaded the bar extra heavy and then he goes lighter. You're not going to be able to push that up though. No, no, no. I'm going to get in there and squat it up. Okay. This is just a, a test. Actually, I don't even know if I get that though. Oh my word. Do you want me to help push? <laughs> this is like Jim <laughs> How I tore my quad, guys. <laughs> Alright, so this is four plates. <laughs> Thank you. You think you do this? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Like, let's just see. I believe in her. Tanya Bale's video. I believe in her now, you know? We always, <laughs> you always need something to strive for. Fail, take two. And you don't know where you're at until you, you get there. Alright, come on. Focus. Eight. Let's go. Up. Good, let's go. One, come on. Push. Let's Two, let's go. go. Come on. Go, go, go. Three. All day, all day. Up, 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 up. Come on. Let's go. Push. Come on. Two more. Two more. Up. Last one. Last one. Let's go. Oh, it's on. Ryla, come on! Nice. That was awesome. Good job. That's PR, right? Hey, yeah, that was PR, guys. Hell yeah. Can't breathe, but. I told you guys. It's a PR. I told you she could do it. See? <laughs> Always trust in Coach Joe. Show you your way. true potential. All right, so as always, if you watch any of my other leg training videos where I talk about flying hamstring curls, uh, really focusing on full range of motion, getting that pad to touch our butt. Uh, I like being a little bit more explosive on the way up with it and then uh, kind of controlling the eccentric slightly, just getting a really good stretch uh, at the bottom. So when you're setting up the machine, make sure that you're getting that full range of motion with the muscle and you're not cutting it short. Uh, but we're doing three sets here, you know, there from 12 to 15 reps. Uh, the other thing I like to do is basically um, dorsiflex my uh, ankles. So when I'm curling, I'm really focusing on using the hamstrings. Just like a little tip for performance there. It makes me feel my hamstrings more versus kind of just being more relaxed and lazy with my ankles. So, dorsal flex, legs are all the way uh, extended at the bottom and then flexing, squeezing as hard as I can. And basically, when you think about the hamstrings, they're just a bicep for the leg. You know, I think it's called the bicep for Morris, right Matt? Yes sir. Yeah. Okay, for that collegiate degree, might as well use it, you know? All right guys, so there you have it. That is the video. We started off by doing some knees over toes exercises. Go check him out on YouTube. Uh, you know, just trying to put out some different content, finding some things that I like and trying with my training. Uh, then heading into our normal uh, squat day. So SSB squats to hack squats, hamstring curls. Uh, Try to keep it pretty similar because it's been working so i'm not changing up too much besides that warm up uh, so give it a shot you know i'm on this road to recover with the bicep uh, but as always guys make sure head over to facebook facebook group is the iron lions ask to go in there just type in the facebook search bar we'll accept you it's a great hub for content form checks uh, any questions we're always in there engaging with the audience uh, second thing zastrend.net is the hub for uh, all our programs, our products, and even more articles. So head over there. Our coach Matt on YouTube is just Matt Malloy, not the flute player. I always have to say that, but I think he's beating the algorithm now because he comes up right when you type in his name. So Matt Malloy, uh, follow him as he's training for an Ironman right now and also best strength training. So he's kind of like the new age Nick Barr, I would say, like showing you how you can do it all. Uh, super cool, very intelligent guy. And he's also behind the camera. So he's helping me with these videos. Very grateful for that. Uh, and that's it. So stay lean, mean, track machine. We got about three videos a week coming out. And uh, subscribe, like, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.